Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. What's going on, everybody? Yes, it is Wednesday, so that means that it is time for Two Hams Motivation and Business Call. Man, it's the middle of the week. It's crazy how fast time is flying by when you are having a great time. I remember when I was having a miserable life, time was just creeping on by. (laughs) But now that I am living my dreams, man, and looking forward to the next day, time just seems to keep on passing. My name is Celandia Hammond affectionately known as to help, baby. And as always, guys, I want to thank you for always coming back to this call. If you're one of my loyal listeners, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you are new to this call, thank you for tuning in. And if you're listening to the recorded version, hey, thank you as well. We appreciate each and every one of you because you could have been anywhere else in the world, but today you decided to spend 15, 20 minutes of your time with us. And so because of that, I know that time is the most precious, valuable asset there is, the one thing that we can never get back. I always try to deliver massive value to my listening audience. And today is no different, guys. It is no different. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Oh, I, I, you guys want to be like, Sue, you're always excited. Well, that's a great thing. But I'm really excited for the first time today, uh, for the first time ever, to have on my show um, Miss Vanessa Hoops. Uh, Hoops is her nickname, but it's Vanessa Shines. She's with Shines Enterprises, and they, they do so many different things, and I probably wouldn't even do it justice to try to do it. So what we're going to do is when I, when I bring Miss Vanessa on, we're going to let her give a brief two- to three-minute bio of um who she is and what she does and what have you. And then we're going to get into her story because you guys know, uh, if you're a loyal listener, that, like, you know, your story is really what helps to propel you into your success. And that's why I really can't understand why people don't want to share their story because it's really opening up the door, the gateway for your success. And Vanessa definitely has a story to share that is going to be um, – moving, touching, but it's also going to be inspirational and uplifting. And uh, it lets me know that no matter what happens to you in life, really basically at the end of the day, it's up to you to make that decision. Do I want to lie down and live in this adversity or do I want to stand up and move towards success? Use that adversity. Use those setbacks. Use those circumstances, those negative environments to fuel success. And ultimately, at the end of the day, we all have a decision to make. And once we make that decision, we have to take action behind that decision. So let me just get some general housekeeping rules out of the way, and then we're going to bring on our guest, Ms. Vanessa Shines, uh, founding, co-founding partner of Shines Enterprise. Guys, I want you to know that if you are in and around Lake City, South Carolina, right, please join me on April 25th. I'm doing a social media dominance course. I'm actually going to teach you how to take your offline business or and or your online business and how to use Facebook and turn it into your personal uh, bank account, ATM machine, how to get Facebook to spit money into your PayPal account or into your Stripe, your bank account, what have you. And I'm going to show you how you can increase your audience range via Facebook only. Okay, I'm going to show the methods that I use to make tens of thousands of dollars on Facebook, doing it part-time, setting it up on automation, going away, traveling the world, auditioning for David E. Talbert, and still making money, you know, while I'm out pursuing my dreams or while I'm sleeping or while I'm out with my son at the beach or whatever. These are the methods that I'm going to teach in my social media dominance course in Lake City, South Carolina. You'll actually have access to me. Uh, for four, I think three to four hours, and I'm going to give you my blueprint. Okay, if you are not in and around Lake City, South Carolina, guess what? The great news is you can still get that blueprint. I have a course uh, called Facebook and uh, Video, Facebook, YouTube, and Video Marketing, so you can still get that course. Go to SueHam.com or either hit me up on social media at SueHam, S-U-E dash H-A-M, SueHam. All righty, guys. I think, oh, Oh, one more thing, and then we're going to get into the call. Please, guys, if you're interested in joining my business partner and I, Terry L. Clay, in Mexico, baby, then uh, visit the website businessexplosion.net. It's an explosive mastermind. You want to be there. You want to get your book out to the public. You want to grow your business online. You want to learn how to set up events, get speaking engagements, how to make money online. Then this is the event you need to be at. 
We're staying in a 17,000-square-foot villa, oh, my God, with a staff of nine people to serve us, not only to serve us, but to prepare our food, our meals daily. They actually uh, take care of our laundry. They do the housekeeping. We have a, a pool boy. We have someone to serve us at our own private bar that accommodates 21 people on the outside. Okay, we're talking this house was featured in Robin Leach's Lifestyle of the Rich and Famous. So we already know that the uh, amenities are going to be just crazy. But not only that, Terry Clay and I are going to give some explosive uh, information to help you really go back and explode your business. And explosive, explode means to enlarge your territory. So by the time you're done with our mastermind, you're going to be able to go back home and explode, enlarge your territory. But not only that, you'll be able to plug into our community so that we'll still be there to help you even after you return home. We'll still be there as your big sisters to help you in your business and as far as in your life. All right, that's the general housekeeping, okay? Um, you guys make sure you head over to stuham.com and get more information on that. And if you're interested in writing your book, get my free training at writeabookwebinar.com. Writeabookwebinar.com. Free training. Get it. Listen to it. It's good. It's going to improve your life. Now, without further ado, I'm so excited, so excited, so amazing, so enthused to have, man, she was one of the attendees at the um, Business Explosion Mastermind in Florida, uh, February 28th through March 5th, and Vanessa came in with guns blazing, okay? And uh, she she actually ended up teaching one of the courses. So and she came in, she got a lot of great stuff, and she has been just, I mean, just been moving fiercely in her business, and I've been watching her, Terry's been watching her, and I was like, i got to get her on the show, because a lot of people think that you got to start with a silver spoon in your mouth, and typically um, that is not the case with the majority of successful people, man. They're out here hustling, bustling, grinding. They're living in the, dun- the tunnels, the valleys, and they're clawing their way to the top. And Vanessa has a remarkable story to share and how she started and how things went in her life and where she is now and where she wants to be. So I invited her on the show to share her story because I was like, oh, my God, you've got to share this with my listening audience. So without further ado, y'all help me welcome Miss Vanessa Hines, a.k.a. Vanessa Hoops, baby. (laughs) What's going on, Vanessa? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm great. <laughs> Thank you for the <laughs> awesome intro. <laughs> Man, I still didn't do it enough justice because when I think about everything that you've been through and how you're still standing tall, um, you know, I just really don't think that there are enough words in the English dictionary to be able to introduce you. I'm just so proud of you. I really am. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate all of that. Um, well, as uh, Sue Ham said, my name is Vanessa, a.k.a. Hoops, and I am one of the um, founders of Shine Enterprise, where we are bridging the gap between your fears to your destiny. And it didn't always start out like that for me. <laughs> I actually <laughs> never knew what my purpose was in life. I didn't even think I had any skills of, of purpose or anything like that. I grew up in New York City. I was born in um, the Bronx, raised in Harlem. My mom had me when she was 13. And uh, she dealt with uh, she dealt with um, drug drug addiction, and as a result of that, my brother and I was placed in foster care. And um, when I was in foster care, uh, I got you know abused and molested, and I mean all types of things that I went through when I was in foster care. And it, uh, I was a, had to deal with adoption. I had to deal with um, my self esteem. Um, separation from my family, my uh, immediate family, and it, it really took a toll on my life as far as my belief. You know, there was there was even a time that I didn't believe in, in God. I had no faith. I, had, I, I couldn't believe that someone would allow my life to turn out the way that it was going. Mm. And um, it, it, took, it, it, it took a lot for me to get past that, and it actually took until my adulthood <laughs> that I got over that, until I had my son, which was at 21, um, and I lost my mom and my adopted mom, both of them five months apart. So it was it was like I had to, I had to grow up really, really fast um, 
And in in between that, that's where where things started to change. You know, I started going back to church, started, you know, praying more, and I just got back my faith after my parents had died. So that that's the gist of my story a little bit. <laughs> Wow, and you know it's amazing how you can laugh about it because a lot of people um <clears throat> they say to me, Sue, how can you laugh about going through bankruptcy, having being de- you know depressed and having suicidal thoughts and losing everything? I'm like, you gotta laugh <laughs> because right. the thing about it is, um, it didn't take you out. You're still here, so right. you gotta right. laugh at it. <laughs> right, right. You know, I could have been beaten. <laughs> right, I could have been right. Yeah, you took your best shot, but I'm still here. So right. now with that being the case, I got to say this to you, because a lot of people, um, they can't endure the shot. So while you were in the midst of that, I'm gonna get, I want to take you back to your childhood. While you're in the midst of not being with your mother, going through foster care, being abused, right, molested and whatnot, what's going through your mind, Vanessa? I mean, are you thinking that, this is not going to last always, or are you thinking that I just want to end my life? Or are you thinking that um, it's going to get better? What What are you thinking? What are you feeling? At the time, I I didn't believe that things would get better. I I thought everything would get. <laughs> I really thought everything was going to be worse. I kind of shut myself down. Um, even by the time I got to my foster, the foster my my adopted mom, you know, I was so. I was so beat up, you know, I was so broken. Mm-hmm. Well, I felt I was so broken. There was, I felt like there was no way of bringing me back. You know, I, I, I was very quiet. I was on, you know, the hospitals had me on medication. I mean, <laughs> you know, they thought I was, that was, they thought I was crazy. And it wasn't that. It was the fact that I was so, you know, abused and shocked that I didn't even know how to, to deal with anybody else. I didn't know how to, to love anyone else. And I definitely didn't know how to love myself. So it, mm. I didn't believe that things was going to get better until, you know, I, I started to get a little bit older. And my adopted mom started to instill love in me, you know. So I, I never felt that type of connection. It, even to this day, you know, I still struggle with certain things with affection and, and, and things of that nature. And that's why I'm, you know, writing my book and <laughs> things of that nature because it's something that I still kind of struggle with to this day because of those um those those act those those situations that I've dealt with. So let me ask you this at any time because here's the thing, when I was in the valley, right, I used to think to myself, man, I'm better off not being alive. But I never had the guts to take my life. And I and, and it could have been because I had my kids or it could have been because I know I'm better than this. Um, so I can't let these thoughts take over me. Did you at one time have any suicidal thoughts? And if you did, what kept you from actually following through with that? I had, yes, I did. I did. And it, um, I had suicidal thoughts after my parents died. And I, I, I promise you that it, it was nothing but God that kept me because I found out I was pregnant. Mm. <laughs> I found mm. out I was pregnant. Um, three weeks after the death of my adopted mom. And my mom, they passed away five months apart. And as a child, my my only prayer, because I, I didn't really, you know, I didn't have faith in God, but there was only one thing I asked. And I asked that he never take away both my parents at the same, around the same time. That was the only prayer I, I, I said. And both mm. of them were taken away. So, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't hinder me. It didn't stop me from believing in him. It kind of made me. Uh, it kind of made me start believing in him again. You know, once that happened, I had to. I had. I found out I was pregnant. I had to. I had to grow up really fast. I had to take um, custody of my brother. I had to drop out of college. I mean, everything was going wrong. But there was one thing that kept me, and that was my son. I'm, I'm sorry, you started breaking up a little bit. You said the one thing that kept you was what? My son. Your son. Gotcha, yes. gotcha. You know, it's amazing how those little people will give us a reason to live, um, how those little people will give us a reason to get back up and try again because yeah. when I had, um, you know, lost everything and I lost my, my, I didn't lose it. I mean, the bank just came back and got everything I had. But, uh <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Yep. You know, <laughs> when the 
when the, when the banks reclaim their property from me, i.e. cars, cash, houses, um, I never forget how my son, I have three kids, um, my daughter who is uh, 21 graduating college here in the next month, and my middle son who's 18 graduating, about to graduate high school, and then I have a five-year-old. Well, at the time, my middle son was in the seventh grade. He's in 12th grade now. He said to me, "Um, Mom, I'm going to go live with my dad because you can't afford to to care for all three of us. And I'm like, you know, what is that for a seventh grader? What are you, what, like 13 at the time? Right, right. Or 12 at the time? What is that for a 12, 13-year-old to say to uh, someone in her um, 30s that I'm going to go live with my father because you can't afford to care for us? Um, it was like he took on the adult role, and, you know, and it was like when he said that, I just felt like he lost all faith in me. And it was at that moment I realized I got to do better. I got to, right. you know, if I'm really going to follow my dreams to success, no matter what, man, I don't care what circumstances come at me. I don't care what blows I take in the face, uppercut, sucker punches, whatever, <laughs> jabs. You know what I'm saying? I was just right. like Bob, and, Bob and Weave and take it because I was on a path. My mission was to show my son that, son, I'm better than my circumstances. I'm better than my environment. It is worth it to live your dreams, to follow your dreams to success. And for me, uh, you know, much like how you said, my son is what kept me going. Every time I said, man, forget this, I'm going to quit, I thought about my son. And, I was, and he may not have thought that his mom was a loser. But in my eyes, that's how I felt. Like I was a right. loser because I had to split up my family. So yes. it, it's just amazing how those little ones will fuel your purpose, will fuel your drive to be successful. Um, yes. Now, you said, so your son is actually what led you back to the church? Is, is that, did I hear you correctly with that as well? Yes, my son actually started, he, he well, I didn't get into, into church, but I started um, reading the Bible again and started. There we go. Um, <laughs> even again. <laughs> you know, I started believing again, you know, because I, I honestly, you know, and I, I have to be honest about it, even be, even after I, even after I had um, found out I was pregnant, I still was blaming everyone, you know, I still was that, that child just blaming the world, you know, for me, you know, for me going through so many different things, and now I have to drop out of college. I mean, all of these things that were going through my head, and now I'm pregnant. Like, it's just like, really? <laughs> right. You know, really, now on top of everything else, I'm pregnant. I don't know how to take care of a child. And I was, you know, I, I got to the point where I was selfish. I didn't I didn't care about nobody else with me. You know, it, it got to that point. I didn't worry about no one else but me. And... Mm. Here it is. I'm I'm pregnant, and I have to care for someone else, and I don't even know how to love me. I, it, it just didn't it didn't add up to me. And eventually, you know, I I was I was one day I wanted to I said, you know what, I can't do this. I'm going to the doctor. This can't happen. And I called. I made the phone call, and I made an appointment. You know, to to go to the doctor, and I set it up for to have an abortion. I don't condone abortion, but this. It, it was my mindset at 20 years old, 2021 is my mindset. And I, I I promise you, I woke up the morning of, and I could not get out of the bed. Oh, I my gosh. Move. I was throwing up. I was in tears. I mean, I just could not move. And that moment I realized that I couldn't go, I couldn't do it. I wasn't going to do it. And wow. that was it. That was it. Yep. So, wow, man, that- that's, and, and, you know, the reason why I like for people to share this story, I know you're a little apprehensive about sharing your story. You haven't really shared it much with a lot of people. Um, and the reason why I like for people to share their story is because your story is not for you. It's right. for others. You know what I'm saying? And, yep. and I'm listening, and I've heard a portion of your story before, and I'm still getting goosebumps. And it just, it's, it's, I just want to say this. It's just amazing how we think that we're going through so much hell, right, or that we've been through so much hell. And there's always, I promise you, I promise you, there's always someone who's going through more hell than you. So with that being the case, my listeners, there's no reason why you can't live your dreams, why you can't start that business, why you can't uh, release that weight, as my girl Melanie Edge would say, why you can't go to school and get that degree, why you can't 
you know, become that supervisor on the job, why you can't be in a better marriage, why you can't be a whole person. There are no excuses because at the end of the day, somebody has it a whole lot worse than you, and you don't have to leave out of your own community to find somebody who's got it worse. It's a, it could be your next-door neighbor. So the thing, of it, the thing of it is start now, start today with taking control of your life and changing the way things are. And listening to you, Vanessa, would you say that change has to first start internally? It has to begin with you, right? Yes, yes. That was the first wow. start. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, um, like I said, just met you at the Business Explosion Mastermind in Florida, mm-hmm. and it was explosive. Um Meeting you, one would never know that you came from such a tumultuous background, would never have had any idea because you present, I'm telling you, because you present yourself as a strong person, and I had no problems with connecting with you. I mean, I didn't see you as standoffish or anything. You blended right in. You were forced uh, coming with your knowledge. And so I guess what I'm leading up to is how did you make the transition from being uh, wanting to be by yourself, you know, having the weight of the world on you, to now being this successful businesswoman. And, and you've got to elaborate and tell people what you are doing now because a lot of people want to know, how do I bridge the gap from hurt, from pain, from disappointment, from setback, from low self-esteem, from low confidence, to now, boom, putting myself in front of thousands of people, millions of people, and sharing my business and sharing my story, how did you make that jump? What did you do? And tell people what your business is about. Okay. Um, well, the first instance that happened was um, I was working for a company for four years, and um, I worked my way up in the company to manager. And I thought that this, this was something that I wanted to do, so I, you know, bust my behind, you know, trying to, to impress <laughs> to impress everyone, you know, with what I could do. And, what and I Vanessa, do. Vanessa, you could come back to the phone just a little bit. You started getting a little okay. distant from us. There we go. Can you, can you guys hear me? Can you yeah, hear me? we're good now. Okay. So I um I wanted to impress everyone with what I could bring to the table. But it was this one time that, you know, I was spending countless hours at this job. I was losing time with my family. I was losing time with my son. I was losing time with myself. <laughs> you know, I was just extremely mm-hmm. exhausted because of this job. And I was working like 80 to 90 hours a week. I stayed in this job morning to night from, from 7 in the, from 7.30 to the open till about 10 o'clock at night when it closed. Wow. And seven days a week. And, um, you know, it was one day that this, the, the general manager came in and I, I had uh, cleaned the store up. And he told me that if it didn't, if it wasn't up to his standards, then he would have to make some decisions. You know, basically letting me know that he would have to terminate me. And it was that moment that I realized that I couldn't allow that to happen. No one else could could be the the reason for my son not having something to eat, having food on the table, or clothes on his back, or a place to stay. It was in that moment that I realized I had to do something different. You know, because I wanted I wanted more for myself. So mm-hmm. my my thought process was to get a better job, but I just I decided to quit. You know, I just turned in my two weeks notice. I quit that job, and um, without anything uh, waiting for me, I decided uh, I would put in some applications. I would just be online. You know, just waiting <laughs> for someone to call me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh huh. So you just up and quit a job without having a job to go to? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I said, but you know what? I believe that much in my. I believe that much in what I had to offer. I believe that much in myself. I knew what I had to bring. I, I had to bring to the table. So I wasn't worried about no job um, calling me because of wow. my, my job. You know what I had. What I had to offer, I didn't. I didn't care about that. I wasn't worried about that. I didn't care about. I wasn't thinking about bills or any of that. I said, you know what? I'm gonna walk out on faith. <laughs> wow. <I> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> wow. So, but I just, um, I, I was online and I saw people, you know, writing things about make money online, make money online. And I was like, hey, you know, I could try this, you know, make a few dollars here and there, and it, and I made fifty bucks, you know, and it wasn't a whole bunch. But it was it, it it just dawned on me. 
I didn't work five hours to to make that fifty bucks. Some people make seven dollars and twenty five cents. What seven twenty five, seven fifty an hour? Now you take that and you just, you you multiply it by how many hours you need to work to make fifty. And I made that online within an hour. So it just it just it just resonated with me at that moment. It was just it was like something a light bulb, bing. <laughs> you know, wow. and I was like, okay, if I could do this, you know, then I can have more time with my family. I can travel. I can. I mean, it just opened up my eyes and my mind to a new world. But I found, you know, right after that, um, a job called me. But my mind was changed now. I was already uh, looking up things and, and, you know, doing some research and all types of things. So my mind was changed. So when I went to this job, I quit, I, I, I quit in a month. It, because it just, I wasn't, it, I wasn't there anymore. And I haven't, I haven't talked into a job since. <laughs> you know, wow. and, and although I haven't had, you know, massive, you know, massive, massive success. Like some people, you see them all online and, you know, they're, they're six figure, seven figure earners. I, I have been able to make money online to the point where, you know, I, Vanessa, I, you, I, Vanessa, you're drifting, uh-huh. you're drifting away from us again. Okay. You're drifting away from us again. Okay. Can you all right. Me? There you go. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I was able to make money online to where, you know, my bills was paid and I wasn't worried about, you know, where, where my meals was going to come from. And then, after the business mastermind <laughs> is where it all came to light for me. <laughs> everything that I've been researching, everything that I had been, all the ideas that I, you know, had, it all made sense. So the once I made it up in my mind from the moment that I left the business mastermind to the to the time that I got home that I was going to take massive action towards my business wow. and that's what I've been doing you know so now I can actually say that I've created my own course that I've been coaching other people and I've been um I'm actually putting on a, a event for a tour we're going to tour the entire summer so we we have a few sponsors um we have a few prospective um, um possible sponsors and we're looking for more sponsors um corporate sponsors for throughout the summer um, we're going to take that. The, it's the, called the Shines Empowerment Movement. So we're, yes. we're going to be doing a visual, um, a vision board movement um, uh, um, tour. <laughs> That's surrounding what's up. Yes, yes. Um, I've also helped uh, my business partner, Sierra, launch her first product, which is um, Designs by Shines. So um, I mean, we have a whole lot of things just just happening, and it's happening so fast. And just like you said, some, when when your life is just you know when you when you just are miserable and everything is moving slow and you don't want to get out of the bed. I mean, I was there, I was at that point, you know. But now I'm up. I don't care. I'll, I'll go to sleep four o'clock in the morning and wake up at seven, and I'm up and energetic. I'm ready, you know. And and I'm just blessed. I'm excited <laughs> about where life is going, where life is going to take me. You know, I want to tra- I want to be able to travel and make money. That is my that is my uh, ultimate goal. Is just to be able to travel and make money and to empower others to do the same um, for for their businesses. Well, I tell you, you are already doing that, whether you know it or not. I mean, cause just sharing your story today on the line with people, I know you are empowering them to know that they can get up from out of the ashes and do some great things. And like I said, man, you have been enlarging your territory, a.k.a. exploding your business. But not, <laughs> only, your, <laughs> but not only your business, you're actually helping others to enlarge their territory, and that is what it's all about. Because um, I like to quote Napoleon Hill, and uh, so many other people say the same thing just in a different way, uh, like Zig Ziglar, he says it as well. You know, the quickest way to be successful is to help others be successful. And yes. so that's one of the things, um, if we can wrap our minds, totally wrap our minds around that concept, we will experience success beyond belief. But like I said, you're doing great things. I mean, after you came back from the Business Explosion Mastermind, uh, like you said, it, it just it fell into place for you. You've been doing webinars. You've created courses. You're coaching people. Now you're about to put on your own event and travel. Oh, man, this is just unbelievable. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? Now, yes. Did you see yourself 
when you were in the valley, when you were going from foster homes, when you, you know, your mother wasn't there for you, when you lost your mother and your um, adoptive mother, you know, when you're being molested, abused, when you had to take on being the mom for your brother, when you had to become a mom at a young age. Right. Did you see? Did you see that while in the valley? You know, no, <laughs> not at all. If if this was if this was eight nine years ago, I I wouldn't have believed it. I would be like, yeah, whatever. You know how you tell your friends, like, oh, my gosh, we're going to be, you know how you find out a great idea, and you're like, we're going to be rich, you know? Right. <laughs> we're going right. to be rich. We're going to be able to travel. We're going to get out of here. You know, I never saw that, but there's one thing I did see. I saw me leaving the project. That was mm. that's what I saw. And I can't, and when I say I, I move on impulse sometimes and I just I just go, I my taxes, one year, I, um, I took my taxes and I just left. Wow. <laughs> no family, no family, didn't know what, how to even apply for an apartment. I just left. I left. I said, you know what, I'll figure it out when I get there. And I've been here wow. for five years. You get what I'm saying? So it's just, wow. it, 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 it just happens like sometimes, that sometimes you have to move on faith. You have to walk out on faith. If, you, if you're in an environment that isn't good for you or your family, and you want more, and you know you deserve more, and you know they deserve more, because it wasn't about me anymore. It was about my son. You know, when, mm. I'm, when I'm gone, he has to fall, he, he needs something to fall back on. I don't want him to have to depend on the government. I don't want him to have to beg anyone for anything. I don't want him to have to sleep in cars like I, had, I did. I don't want him to have to, you know, uh, rely on anyone for any. Thing. If he needs it, he's going to have it, and I will until I'm gone. I will fight for that. Wow! You know, I just I like to say goosebumps. I had I just had a goosebump moment because it's like <laughs> you didn't even. You, <laughs> the thing about it is, if you're listening, right? Well, you are listening, uh, and whether it's live or to the recorded call. She didn't see the big, beautiful picket fences or pictures because she was living through too much hell, but she knew she wanted out of the projects, and that was enough to for her to kick the door open. And so that's the thing, guys. you got to just take that first step. And when you take that first step, so many things will unfold on the way. Man, that is that right there was powerful in and of itself right there, that right there. But, uh, Vanessa, we're going to open up the call for questions and comments. But before I do that, I want you to tell people how they can connect with you because there may be somebody listening that really wants to know how to get to your event that you're putting on and may want your coaching services or may just want to talk to you and, and, you know, find out how to stay inspired. So tell them how they can find you. Um, Y'all can find me on Facebook at – if you go to www.facebook.com forward slash shines, S-H-I-N-V-S, Seven two five at um, shine seven two five. You'll be able to um, get in contact with me. Also, if you use hashtag shine, you'll be able to find me. And as far as my events, in you can go to uh, my website www dot events by shine uh, events by shine um, dot com. <laughs> okay, all right, events dot shines dot com. That's what's up. No, events okay. events by shines dot com. Okay, events by shines dot com. That's E V E N T S B Y S H I N D S dot com. And guys, the replay of this call is going to be on our social media pages. So just go to Stu Ham on Facebook, find it on uh, find us on Twitter at Stu Ham Baby. Um, but you will be able to find this call right now. We're going to open up the call for any comments or questions. We're going to actually keep it uh, really brief. We haven't lost anybody on this call, so that uh, people have really what you had to say, Vanessa. Right now, we have the Q&A session open. If you have a comment or a question, hit star six, star six, and that should bring you into my queue. All right. Last caller, 9873. You're live with us. Say your name where you're calling from. Hi, this is Melanie. I am calling from Columbia, South Carolina. Hey. <laughs> I'm actually at work trying to take a break. <laughs> um, oh, this is Melanie with There Is No Energy. I plug myself while I'm on here. Um, um, I just want to say I met Vanessa at the Business Mastermind. Um, did I say that right? Business Mastermind Explosion. And business Vanessa, Explosion Mastermind. 
I'm, I'm trying to do this quick, so that's why I'm, I'm stumbling. <laughs> but um, Go for it. I like I like to say uh, what resonated with me on this call when you said walking out on faith, and you kept showing examples of walking out on faith work, and it I. When I say, like she said, goosebumps, I got goosebumps because I'm like that. I'm in the stairwell taking a break because I want to be a part of this call because I want to hear what you got to say. And it was Aww. just like you sneaking to take a break, and you don't even want to be here. Mm. <laughs> you sneaking to take a break. You sneaking right. to take a break because your mind is so focused on your business and what you want to do. And I'm, I'm telling you, when you said walking out on faith, such an inspiration, such an inspiration. I like to say I also took one of Vanessa's course. Please get it. How to? Oh gosh, I don't mess it up. Vanessa, say the name of it. <laughs> oh, it's Google Plus. It's Google Plus on um, Google. It's called Google Plus Unleashed. How to rank first page on Google within five minutes. It works. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Take it. So, thank you. I like thank you, awesome. Vanessa. You have inspired me today. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm glad I did. Awesome. <laughs> oh, man, that is what's up. And um, Google Plus Unleashed, yes, um, guys, I am definitely going to encourage you to get that product. It does work. I, I bought the product. And you all know I'm all about the SEO, search engine optimization, ranking and whatnot. So if you are looking to be found on Google through keywords, getting your stuff out there on the first page, definitely connect with Vanessa um, on Facebook. All right? Um, anyone else, hit star six, star six, and you will be brought into my Q&A queue. You can either make a comment or leave a question. And while we're waiting for that, I want to encourage you guys to make sure you head over to suham.com. You're going to find out a whole lot more about the Business Explosion Mastermind, which we've been talking about on this call, and uh, you'll also find out about the Suham School of Success. Okay, caller, last four, 8880. State your name and where you're calling from. Hi, this is Jihad Abdul Jami, and I'm calling from Lake City, South Carolina. Awesome, Lake City, South Carolina, in the house. That's my neighbor. <laughs> How are you sisters doing this morning? We're doing great. Uh, good. That's good. Well, I'm I'm a fellow entrepreneur as well, and I'm I was just strolling through Facebook, and I came across the um, you know I guess the post about the call. Mm-hmm. And I I rarely do these calls, you know. I just kind of bypass things like this. And I said, I'm I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. And I called in, and um, I thank God I did. I'm definitely inspired and encouraged just listening to you guys. And um, like I said, I just want to let you guys know that I'm here, and I appreciate what you're doing. And you definitely inspired me and encouraged me to keep pushing forward. And I thank you all for putting it out there. And I, I wish you all much success, and hope God continue to bless you guys because you're doing a wonderful thing. And Helping others and at the same time financially empowering yourself. That's what it's all about. Right. We appreciate awesome. that, brother. Listen, brother, what what type of business do you do? Put put yourself out there. This your this is your chance to put your stuff out there. Well, um, I'm actually into affiliate marketing. Um right now I have a website, it's called cartitlecentral.com. dot com. Mm-hmm. You guys can go there and check it out. Um and that's pretty much, you know, of course, doing affiliate marketing, you're, you're marketing different things at different times, but that, that's what we have going on right now, just helping people um, get car title loans and also people that want to actually get into the business themselves as affiliate marketers, they can do the same. They go to the website, click the job link, and, you know, they can see about, you know, partnering with me and things of that nature. So that's just what I got going on right now. But I, I just definitely, um, like I said, I just wanted to let your sisters know that, I don't know. It just it just gives me a little bit more fuel to continue to push forward in what I'm doing, and I, I'm glad I called in this morning, you know. But again, that's, that's CarTitleCentral dot com. If you guys want to go check me out, <laughs> CarTitleCentral dot com. CarTitleCentral dot com. Thank you so much, brother. And listen, connect with us, man. You 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 should come to Mexico with us. We 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 teach on affiliate marketing and how to get it more so out there. Um, via social media. Uh, listen, for those of you that listen, we got some other callers in the queue. I just want to say this real quick. People don't realize how powerful social media is, okay? Hillary Clinton waited to announce her presidential candidacy until Sunday on social media. I mean, yeah. President Barack Obama was got back into office because of a huge presence on social media. Uh, Vanessa Hoops Shine of Shine Enterprise, our guest today, is – Furthering her journey, her dreams of helping other people and expanding her business via social media, I have been able to get on BET, Bravo TV, 
um, have my videos all on celebrity uh, uh, fan pages and stuff all because of social media and videos. So I'm saying to you, and I've been screaming it for the past three, four years, social media, social media, social media. Now, my pick of the litter just happens to be Facebook, but I love YouTube as well. But I'm also telling you it's important that when people put in keywords in Google that you come up on the first, second, and third pages. So that's why I'm pushing Vanessa's product, you know. Um, uh, Google, Google, what is it again, um, Vanessa? Google, Google Plus Unleashed. Google Plus Unleash, all right? So listen, Carla, last four, 4350, 4350. State your name when you call. Hey, hey, this is Terry Clay. Hello. <laughs> hey, Terry. <laughs> I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, we met also at the Business Explosion Mastermind. Woo-woo. <laughs> and uh, I'm just excited that you have, you know, also taken the leap of faith to put on your own tour. I just think that is, like, crazy, like, that yes. you took the education and then took the action. Um, that sometimes people, we teach people all the t- sometimes and they don't take the action, but I, I see that you are definitely an action taker. You just didn't take the education that you learned at the Business Explosion Mastermind and sit on it. You taking the action and you getting out there and doing it. So I'm saying that I'm proud of you and just keep doing what you're doing and uh, that's it. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so um, glad that you guys do what you guys do. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where my ideas would have been <laughs> stuck in my head. So I think, I thank God for both of you. <laughs> oh man, blessings to you, blessings to you guys. And that was Terry Clay, my uh, business partner, and we are the founding members of the Business Explosion Mastermind. Again, I'm pumping that guys because if you're lost in your business or even lost in your life, because we teach mindset training, which by far is the most important thing. I don't care how many tips and strategies you learn, how many product softwares you buy, how many business as you enroll in, if your mind is not intact, you will never succeed. And, yes, I'm going to record and say never. And if you have success, it's going to be so short-lived that it's going to be almost like you never had it. Mindset is critical. And that's, you know, so for those of you who want to lock on with us, join us, uh, find out more information at businessexplosion.net. Vanessa, before we end the call, tell them real quick, where they can find you, where they can get Google Plus Unleashed, how they can become a part of your event, how they can become a part of your family on social media. Okay, you guys can get in contact with me on Facebook. at um, You can hashtag Shines, S-H-I-N-D-S, or you can um, look me up on Facebook.com forward slash Shines, S-H-I-N-D-S 725. And you can, if you, um, if you want us to come, maybe to a city near you and, and do this event because we're going to be touring, is um, go to eventsbyshines.com, eventsbyshines.com. And um, those of you who are interested in the Google Plus course, once you've gotten in contact with me on Facebook, then you'll be able, um, I'll be able to tell you more about the course on um, via Facebook. Awesome, awesome. And, guys, like I said, don't worry, don't fear. We have this call recorded. We will be posting it on social media within a matter of 15 to 20 uh, minutes. Just stay tuned to Sue Ham fan page, and the call will be there. We appreciate you guys. And in closing, I always got to encourage you to love, right? Uh, I'm saying it wrong. I'm saying it wrong. But in closing, I always got to encourage you to live. <laughs> love, learn, and laugh. Don't quit following your dreams to success. Go out to writeabookwebinar.com. Get my free training on how writing your book is going to increase your bank account in multiple different ways, how sharing your story is going to open up the gateway to success. Until next Wednesday, guys, or until I see you around the Internet, all right, keep hope alive. Thank you, Vanessa. God bless you. You're everybody. welcome.